We may not be wealthy travelers, but every now and then an opportunity comes along to see how the other half live. Well, fate and a giant discount brought us to the luxurious Casa Marina Key West, a Waldorf Astoria resort in stunning Key West, Florida. Is this historic property from a famous resort brand worth the steep price? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to a little bit of luxury in Key West, Florida. We are so, so, so ecstatic because we just arrived in Key West, Florida. Our very first trip. Our very first trip. We've lived in Florida for 11 years and it's our first time here and we're pretty pumped. And to make it even more exciting, we got upgraded! Listen, we are not luxury hotel people. Nope. Uh, we tend to stay in Airbnbs or like lower price point hotels to save money. Um, but thanks to the Hilton Honors discount, we actually got a really great rate at the Waldorf Astoria in Key West, which we really have no business being in. <laughs> in our Hurley shirts and yeah. skinny jeans. <laughs> yeah, it's a classier kind of people than we are, but oh my gosh, we're so excited. And the front desk agent was so nice and actually gave us this upgrade to a balcony room. It's got a balcony! But you know, I, we want to show you, but I feel like something's off. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I just don't fit in right now. Yeah. That's perfect. I'll show you around our upgraded room now because we're bougie now that we're in bath robes. Here's our king size bed. You know what a TV is. And if not, you should subscribe to McCaleb Goes West on YouTube and watch it on TV. This is probably the part of our room that we are most excited about. Ta-da! It's a balcony and it's amazing. We got upgraded to an ocean front, <laughs> an ocean front view. We have no business being here because no. Michelle hair whips me in the eye. <laughs> but I told you we're fancy. Yeah, I mean we're wearing these robes. I don't even care that I'm sweating my ass off because I want to look the part today. That's right. I am happy. so excited. <laughs> Let's go drinking. Okay. The Casa Marina originally opened on New Year's Eve in 1920. It was originally conceived by Henry Flagler, a wealthy American railroad tycoon and famous Floridian. Now, more than a hundred years later, the property still has that sophisticated old money feel, but also maintains a welcoming vibe. Even today, it's easy to picture movie stars and socialites who made this a luxury hotspot in the 50s. The resort grounds are immaculate. Take the time to stroll through the property and admire the fountains, the terraces, and the pools. It's a perfect marriage of classic Floridian high society meets millennial friendly Instagram paradise. It's fun to feel fancy sometimes because we're not fancy people, mm -mm. <laughs> but we can pretend. Sometimes we can. <laughs> I got this tank top from Amazon for $5. Roosters everywhere. And cocks. <laughs> yeah, there's some aggressive cocks here. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> so apparently in Key West, they are protected, so they can just kind of free roam everywhere. Anywhere they want to go, they can just walk around and go, you know, be a, be a rooster. Just live their best lives. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've learned something. <laughs> it's December. Yeah. Uh, New York and the Northeast are currently getting a lake effect snowstorm and well. But we're getting waves. Yeah. So, you know, everybody goes through their crap. I do. Everybody's got something. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you just feel sexy. <laughs> 
Many people don't realize that Key West does not actually have many beaches. In fact, there are only a couple on the island. Here is the benefit of splurging for the Casa Marina Resort. It has its own private beach and it's stunning. Key West has a lot to offer, but we couldn't find many reasons to leave this slice of paradise. Pop-Tarts by the ocean. We are quite luxurious. <laughs> it's a wee bit cold. Strangely enough, we were not offered modeling contracts by the end of our stay. Our first beachside drink. I have a mojito, and it's got rock candy in it. Goombe smash. Cheers. Round two. Rose all day. Well, welcome to lunch at the Waldorf Astoria, where we have ordered con fritters. <laughs> it's said to be an aphrodisiac, so wow, wow. We will not be filming that. And we also have fish tacos. Oh my God, and those french fries. I'm excited. I got chill out, man. All right, we have some conch fritters with some key lime mustard, which we're really excited about. I conch wait. I'm going right in for the dip. Wait for me. Oh, Cheers. I'm like drooling. <laughs> Kiss me now. <laughs> I don't want to. Delicious. Mm. Maybe they say it's like an aphrodisiac because it's like gives you a food gasm. <laughs> if so, that's what's going on in my mouth. All right, now we have some fish tacos with the local catch of the day. Not sure what it is, but it looks great. These seagulls think so too. They're trying to scavenge us. Mmm. Oh my god. Praise the be. The juiciness of that fish is killer. Local and fresh. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's delicious. After the great food and drinks, it was nap time. Here we are dozing on the balcony. No wait, these are iguanas. Yeah, they live here too. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunset here at Key West. Yeah, it's amazing. We got to see the sun rise on one side of our balcony and we got to see the sun set on the other side of our balcony. It's amazing. It's hard to leave the balcony when you look out and see this. No matter where you stay in Key West, please resist the urge to sleep in every morning so you can see the most amazing sunrises. It's like waking up to a painting. And if you want some company, I can assure you the roosters will already be there.
This is the life. <laughs> The Waldorf Astoria is amazing. I'm so glad we got to stay here on a discount because we would have never done this otherwise. And the level of service, uh, the amenities, everything was just absolutely taken care of. We loved it. We hope y'all have truly enjoyed this episode of Michaela Goes Key West. <laughs> we had to practice that. <laughs> That's a lie we didn't practice. We're just that good. <laughs> And on that note, I'd say that we have thoroughly enjoyed living this life of kind of almost luxury. We like to pretend. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We hope you like and subscribe and visit us next time on Michaela Goes West.